Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Story Matters podcast with your hosts, Patrick Ney and Sam Cook. Patty, great to continue this uh, amazing, let's call it uh, Drinks with Patty and Sam, talking <laughs> about great stories, uh, none of which are totally true, but let's hope that they're useful. So, <laughs> well, I'm excited about today because we're launching our four part uh, storytelling series where we're going to talk in depth about storytelling. So, Sam, can you just quickly tell us uh, what it is that we're going to be covering over the next uh, episodes? Yeah. So, the way the Story Matters podcast is structured is uh, we're going to do this a little bit like House of Cards style or Game of Thrones, uh, where we're going to do a series of um, connected podcasts together. Uh, that will follow a theme. So the first theme that I would like to explore, Patty, on this podcast is, is actually um, the same as uh, our, our basic construct around storytelling. And, and many people who listen to this podcast might have come to us through our four free videos on storytelling in the digital age. And this podcast is going to follow those themes, but at a a very much more informal and deeper level uh, philosophically on storytelling, because it, I think it's important for me to uh, communicate in this a bit more intimate medium. Every medium in the digital age has its different purposes. Video can be quite formal and educational and instructional, uh, but in podcast, it's it's really getting behind the thoughts that go into those presentation and the the deep research and underpinning and the thinking that goes in our agency. Uh, behind storytelling. So I'm going to go over four things in the next uh, series. The first episode right now, we're going to talk about why story matters. Um, And you listen to this podcast or you buy into our free videos uh, if you believe that story matters. Um, So that's like the first, uh, I call it a gateway to entry. If you don't believe that fundamental concept, then this probably isn't the right show for you to learn uh, storytelling, how to apply it to your business and life or whatever kind of influence you want to achieve. But if it does matter to you and you you do intuitively understand why story matters, I want to go into uh, the deep history uh, of storytelling so that uh, everyone can understand why story matters so much. You, you might intuitively get it and you understand that and it resonates with you and it grabs you. But I want to go into why. Uh, then at the end of the show, after this uh, bit of a rant on the history of storytelling, uh, we'll go into the future of storytelling. So if this is the history of storytelling, where do we stand right now in this continuum of history? Uh, and then that's going to finish up today's episode or the episode that you're listening to right now, because you could, in theory, listen to all four of these episodes in one day. Uh, the next episode right after this one is going to be... Um, the core foundation of storytelling is um, who is your hero? Everyone, when they learn about uh, storytelling, uh, gets excited about telling their story. Um, and I believe that storytelling should be a bit different. So when you think about uh, your story as a business owner or your story as a leader or your story as anyone who's trying to influence other people, I would submit to you that they're far more interested in their own story than your story. And they only become interested in your story when it relates to how it can help them. So for example, the first podcast that we did, Patty, uh, we actually probably broke that principle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> uh, when, we, when we told our stories um, on the podcast, and I think the reason we broke that rule is, is simply um, if you listen to this podcast and buy into it, you're going to get to know Patty and I quite well. Uh, you might as well start out knowing a little bit about our beliefs and what shapes us as we launch into teaching in this very intimate medium um, storytelling. But generally, you need to really start out with your own avatar or your own hero's story. And the, the greatest works, and I'll talk about this a little bit today, the greatest works of, of influence ever produced always uh uh, intuitively understand and connect with at a very deep level that audience. If, if you know who you're writing for uh, or you know who you're helping uh, tell their story, um, you can have a massive impact on that group of people or even just an individual that you're working with. Um, the third part of the Story Matters construct 
uh, after finding out who is your hero is understanding um, what your hero's journey is. So, for example, if you understand who your hero is, um, they are living a story and they have a story that describes their life and they have a story that describes different parts of their life. They're living multiple sub plots within their life. They have a health subplot, they have a, a family subplot, they have a work subplot, they have all these different threads and stories. And these stories are separate, but they're also interconnected. And they add up to this meta story that people tell about their lives. And we all tell about our lives. And uh, most people, if we're honest with ourselves, are not totally happy with where we are in life, not because we, we view ourselves maybe as a failure, we're uh, self loathing or anything like that. Although many people, actually a vast majority of people in my experience, do live in a, in a place of uh, a bit of despair in, in at least some areas of their life. Um, but even if you're comfortable with where you are in life, you have this heroic construct of what you want to accomplish in your life. And, and, and paradoxically, some of the most successful people uh, have the biggest gap between where they are and where they really wish they could be. Just because what drives people to be successful is this idea of a heroic journey in their life. And we'll talk about the hero's journey construct in detail and how that construct uh, can be used um, to give you a framework as an influencer to, to help people imagine a better way to live their life. And, and, and everyone has this heroic journey pot potentially that they want to live in their life, uh, but they have no idea how to do it. And, and how do you marry up people's aspirations with the pathway to get them there. So that's a, the third part of this series. And then the last one uh, is what I call mapping your hero's digital journey. And uh, today we're going to talk about the timeless principles of storytelling. But the reality of the situation, which we'll touch on at the end of this podcast, is we are in the digital age. And the digital age, uh, the irony of the digital age is it's never been easier to get your story out there. It's never been easier to tell your story. You don't have to be literate. You don't have to be able to write. You don't have to go through a publisher. You don't need anything. You just need a, a cheap smartphone, the prices of which keep going down. And you can instantly connect to over a billion people on the biggest networks in the world, YouTube and Facebook. So it's never been easier to get your story out there, but it's never been harder to get people to listen or to care. A story out there, whether it's your story or the story you want people to uh, be inspired by to to produce a better outcome in their life, which is one of the things we teach is don't focus on your story, but focus on their story. But if you tell someone a story about their life, it's never been harder to get them to care. And that's the great struggle and why so many business owners have come to us and why we ended up launching this uh, educational uh, initiative, Story Matters, um, is to teach people how to tell better stories that connect with people, that inspire people, uh, that grab people and get them to actually listen in the first place. And, and we're going to talk about uh, some of the things we've learned as of 2017 when this podcast is being recorded. Um, and I, I have to caveat when we do this, especially when we speak about technology, because everything I say right now in August of 2017 will be out of date in six months from a technological perspective. Uh, which is one of the reasons we don't want to get too much into technology on this podcast. We want to talk about the interaction of technology with storytelling, but understanding that any specific tactics, tricks, techniques that you learn about storytelling is going to change. Everything that I knew about digital marketing uh, two years ago is wrong now in terms of the tactics. The principles have remained the same. So that's why on this podcast, we're trying to, to stay at the principles of storytelling and dip down uh, every so often into what's working right now, talk about it, try and put it in context. But if you're going to follow with us and become a master storyteller, it's really time to, to take it to the, the highest level in terms of thinking about story. Um, and that brings us to today's show. 